But if I say them, no, I am not. But when I <laughs> work, my 77 years can can work as something wise, something good, because they are something special. Your ages are also special. You are like uh, that's very interesting. You are um, daily news from heaven. Of course. <laughs> when you are smaller and smaller, it's more and more new, but you can tell less and less about it. Or it is more and more difficult for an adult to, to understand what, what is going on. The very small ones have a lot to say about just how it is now. <laughs> they only say, ah. <laughs> 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 You have to translate it. And some can, some people are able to do that. That's the feeling I have also with you. I'm, I'm used to be with school children and young people in school, but you are just not, most of you are not school children, and that makes a great difference. And the feeling of, and the unsure feeling, what is that? What are you doing? Who are you really? <laughs> I don't, I can't behave like a teacher. That is impossible. I feel it's really impossible, and I like that it is impossible. But what is it? Like? <laughs> This is, uh, this is very interesting. You, I, will, I, will, um, I will not talk longer, much longer. I have a, I also a serious thing about consciousness and what is just now with you. I know it, but I can take it from a more simple way. Where 300 young people are together, are also drugs together. That is, a, that is a social problem. It is real. It is a fact. But that's not interesting. It is interesting to, that we know about it and try to have this knowledge and not to take it away. Not together, but that everyone have this knowledge and know about it and carry it really. That is consciousness. That we don't put things under the, what is it called? Carpet. Yeah. Carpet. Carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must not do things. That's an, another level. But I shall know about it. Not do as if it is not important. It has a deep importance because it or I, when I say drugs, I mean also coffee and also cigarettes, of course. But I talk about just substances, not about uh, uh, there are lots of people who say find a lot of other higher types of. You are also uh, abused. You have something you you like to do this and this too much. I don't talk about such things. Only about substances. That's interesting. And therefore, think over, is it a clear thing that you have to carry that? That that is a social life, in life, always, these things. There are not uh, many things that are natural, or what did uh, a friend of mine, a new friend, was Geo Kühlewin, Kühlewin. His title of one of his books is From from normal to gesund, from normal to healthy. That's a good, a good title. From normal to healthy. That's interesting. And this to be conscious about as much as possible. You know what makes us uh, helpless is when we have conflicts in ourselves. We sometimes don't know about. Them. You have, uh, I think, less conflicts than I have, because on uh, these seven, these seven years. But the more we don't, we are not conscious about our conflicts. You know a conflict that is really when you drive and move the gas and the brake at the same time. In a car, you would never do that. 
But in life, we do that very much. That's why nothing happens. <laughs> that is really that. That's why nothing happens. We all want things and, and hope for things. And there are lots of things that don't work. Because of this, we are working like someone who moves the gas and the brake at the same time. And that creates this, what I call conflict. And we must not know and solve all of it. We know it all. When we know our own, then a lot of energy is again on the, on the surface that we can do something at all. That's enough. <laughs> You must talk very loud because I, I must say I am a musician, but I hear nearly nothing. What do you mean by knowing? Knowing about the conflict, what do you mean? That is, uh, I think the word is consciousness, that we try to know, not to say, um, to say, ah. So it's here. Go on. No. Stay. It is like this. I know about it. It is not something I can and then go on. It's easy to go on. It is not easy to go on. It comes afterwards more and more. I have a, a train after me to, to and I don't feel it. I feel perhaps very very easy, but it is a long twelve wagons. <laughs> like this. <laughs> and I feel well because they are there and not there. <laughs> Could you say something more about how intuitive pedagogics work? Uh, you mean it work? Uh, what is the result? No, no. How do you do it? Mm -hmm. What is? Yeah, I, I already said something about it. Uh, lots of physical exercises. Lots of discovering how you are doing. Some of you was in the course where we did some of these things. Mostly, it is about. Uh, just conflicts. You, if you do, if you do like this, you are not in conflict with yourself. You can see I do. I imitate my arms with my feet, or opposite. But when I do like this, I do something else. If 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 we were on the floor now, at the big floor, I would say, try. You can what you can do now, sitting, and to discover what is going on. This, if you do like this with your feet and with your hands. And then try to tell yourself and very and very uh, fast and, and like a decision, do it and discover what happens, what's going on in me. When I try to do not the same with the feet and the head, but just the, I go over the middle of this, together again, and then the opposite. And that's all. And then try to do just the opposite with your hands and feet. Really like this and like this. Feel how it is. What happened when you do like this?